Hi guys, it's like, Shay. Oh, Welcome works. to another video, a week of workout. So I'm gonna try something new <laughs> for this video. So I'm just gonna do this voiceover. Usually I like script my voiceovers, I type it out because I have bad anxiety and I stumble on my words all the time. But this time I'm just gonna go with the flow. We're just gonna talk it through. So it's gonna be like me having a conversation with you. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna be talking through my workout. So here you can see me entering the gym, you know. Beep scamming my little gym pass you know this is my little moment of clarity i swear the moment i step into the gym my stress i know it's going to be a stress relief okay it's like my little therapy session okay so we are saying a prayer before this tricep of death it's actually like a what's the word for four set like a quadricep quadricep is that the word <laughs> so anyway so um if you're new to the channel i am training with the glute mastery program so my trainer's name is daniel and he's got me doing this glute focused hourglass figure type workout <laughs> so pretty much i'm on training for the next what i think four weeks now i think um, my friend gifted me this program so this freaking quadricep or whatever you want to call it is just girl so I start off with barbell hip thrust right at the beginning of my workout because it is the hardest, the hardest thing I can do for my leg days. And also I am quad focused. So I like to, you know, have like a glute activating muscle um, exercise, sorry, in the beginning of the workout, okay? So now we're going into barbell RDLs. So my girl, Tashana Charles, hey girl, hey, I know you're watching this. So she likes barbell RDLs, okay? I used to be that girl who's like, nope, dumbbell all the way okay because i liked you know doing single leg and the range of motion all that but now girl <laughs> barbell is the way to go i'm telling you right now but i gotta use my straps because my wrists be hurting okay they be hurting girl because editing takes a toll on my damn wrist my wrist hurting right now okay so um in this workout it's called the split squat day so of course you gotta do some split squats and i've been liking doing the single I guess like holding one dumbbell. I used to hold two because my balance was off, but now I like resting the one dumbbell on my thigh and just going down with that. And it kind of tells my mind to remember mind to muscle connection, you know, focus on the glutes, lean forward to make it more glute focused because sometimes I'll be filling up my quads, okay? If you stay straight up, it's gonna be focusing on your quads. If you lean forward a bit, it's gonna be glute focused, okay? Um, so he wanted me to start doing glute kickbacks. I haven't done this in a while. Did you guys see that TikTok video? I don't have TikTok, but I see it on Instagram, like an adult. <laughs> so uh, it's where these girls put the cable attachment onto their shoelaces to do the kickback. I, I, honestly, I wonder if someone could try that out for me because I don't know if I would do that. I don't wanna rest up, mess up my shoelaces, okay? But look at me at the end of the workout just spent okay so now i am playing around with these um glute what's it called back extensions the glute focus back extensions one of my favorite glute burnouts to be honest with you i love doing it at the end of my workout just to tire out the glutes and the hamstrings so i am switching between a dumbbell plates and then the preloaded dumbbells so right now here i'm using the um little dumbbell this is i think 50 pounds i believe let's see 50 pounds yes and uh usually i use the 45 pound plate and it was just too light for me so yeah we're going up to the preloaded barbell it's great okay look at this we got some bcaas i just want to show you my supplements for this entire video because i know people gonna ask so i am an affiliate with protein world they have the bcaas and i'm getting my creatine from them too i just want to show you my creatine is done i will be filming an update on that because now it is going on what five months now that i've been on creatine and i'm seeing the results Tuesday is the upper body workout. I really like that he's put this in the program because you can't build an hourglass figure without building your upper body. And I, that was something that was really important to me. I love hitting chest, I love hitting back. So if you take that out, your girl's not happy, okay? So he focused on doing some chest press. We got some stretching. Honestly, try doing that lumbar spread. Girl, I can't even speak. The lumbar stretch, okay? Just like dead hang. Oh, it feels so good. Your spine cracks, oh my God. Um, he got me doing a new movement that I haven't done in a while. It's a T-bar row. I didn't even know my gym had this, but it was hiding up in the corner. But I've been pushing myself and my back muscles be hurting like you never knew. It would hurt. Okay, it is crazy the amount of muscle, muscle connection I get with them. Um, one of my favorites is the lat pull down. Now, the <laughs> machine version of this, some idiot at the gym broke it. Uh-huh. They be doing some TikTok hacks some tiktok gym hacks where they put the you know for the short people you know how they put anyways 
So they've been doing that, wreck the machine, it's been wrecked for a while. So this is one of my favorite alternatives, just, it, I feel like I get a better connection. I like it a lot better, you know? Here's the T-Bar Rose I was talking about. Um, so he got me doing like a, I think it was sets of 15, 12, 10, 8, and 6. So obviously I'm going to start off with, um, I've got a 10 pound on there. The bar weighs 45, so this exercise is already heavy, okay? Um, oh, another thing I like to do is the, uh, what's it called, Bazu Ball, the Bozu Ball, the abs. That's great, honestly. I used to have so much back pain doing this, but this is great. This is great. Y'all gotta try this, right? It supports your lower back, you get that ab connection, and you burn. So today's workout was a workout, I guess you could say. Yeah, I don't know. Today I just feeling really overwhelmed. Anxiety, emotions, everything, and I think it really took a toll on me. And I woke up this morning to a message from Daniel, and he's like, Shay, are you reading the instructions? Yeah, I can see them, you know? He's like, okay, I want to see some progressive overload. So naturally, when I'm in this state of mind, I just take things very personally. I don't know if you guys can relate. So for me, I thought he was like discrediting my work, and I'm like, what? I've been pushing myself every single work, actually challenging myself. And I hit like three PRs this week. So I was like, I don't understand. I don't get it. I'm running with that in my head. And I start getting really upset, right? And there's other things that's going on in my life and I'm just kind of mentally exhausted, you could say. And it actually really upset me. So I said to him, well, what do you mean? And then he sent me screenshots of my workout. I meant upping your weights every set. I do up my weight every set, but sometimes when I hit a weight that is just too heavy, like I can barely get eight to nine reps with it, I'll stick with that weight and just continue that throughout the workout. I thought he was saying it was bad to do that but what he meant was if he gives me a set of 20 10 12 etc pick a weight that you can do those sets with easily so for me need to just lower my weight for example today when I did my chest press usually I would start off with a 25 today I started off with a 20 it was just way too easy but I did hit the reps that he wanted me to and then I upped the weight and then I hit my max which was 30 and I could barely get 10 reps of it so we're gonna try that for now for this week my arms are so sore my shoulders I can't even hold the camera I came into this workout just like crying and I was just like sitting in the gym I'm just like, why? Why Why is this happening to me? Because this is not usually me. Usually I'm just the happy, bubbly person, but like this is also part of my life. There's always gonna be some downs. You know? And I guess I felt a little bit discouraged. Like I feel like I, I don't know, let myself down. But when he explained it, I understood now. Now we're gonna go meal prep, get the week going. All right, so it is now Wednesday. So it is another leg day. This is my second leg day. So we're doing leg day, uh, I think it's a B. So he wanted me to lower my weights to where I can do the exercise with the amount of reps he wants. So I think the first amount of reps was like 10 with the band, um, with B stance. Okay, so B stance is where you have one leg out a little bit and uh, most of the, the exercise is going to be used from the single leg. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like a single leg exercise, but like 90% of the work is done by um, the other leg. Okay. Uh, oh yeah. So with the band, these things are so hard the glute burn that i get oh my god girl like it is just i can't i can barely do it right like my warm-up is 225 which is two plates on each side okay this exercise humbled me to the point where i now had to take off all that and i only could put 25 pounds on each plate okay crazy crazy okay so if you want to up your glute game girl girl <laughs> So here, I think I am deadlifting. So I'm still practicing my form. I know someone in my other video had commented saying just to like watch my back and I've been practicing. So I've been really trying to tell my mind to to imagine this like a, a leg press movement, you know, like pressing the ground away from me. Instead of me lifting the weight off the ground, the work should be done from my leg. So I should be pressing away from the ground and my arm should be locked out like, the arms are not doing anything they're just holding the weight that's it right and my legs are bringing the weight up and then i squeeze at the top you know so i've been practicing that i actually got up to a pretty i hit a pr actually so on the left is my pr i was so happy i was so damn happy i wish i could have done a happy dance <laughs> uh, so now we have thursday so this is my second upper body of the week um so this is mainly back focus so i'm doing my little lat pull downs that i really like to do I like to do them slow and controlled just so I can really feel that mind to muscle connection and I can feel it in every single part of my back muscles. Um, so here again, we're going to be doing 
So something I've been loving doing is the barbell rows. It just lets me get a good amount of um, mind to muscle connection with for me because I, when I was doing them on the Smith machine, I was getting a lot of uh, back pain because I have long ass legs and a short torso. So for me, the Smith machine is just not optimal, but for me, the barbell, I can just bring it towards my core. I feel it so much better. I can go slower. I can lower the weight if I want to. It just what works for me. So I've been really trying to progress with that. And I feel like my mat, my, my Mac, <laughs> my back has just been showing a lot of progress lately. And I'm really proud of it, honestly. Like I've been putting in that work. So now we have the, what is this? One, two, third leg day, third, third leg day of the week. I believe this is Saturday. No, it's Friday. I think it's a Friday. And so usually this is not on program, but I just like to work my legs three times a week. Um, that's just what works for me. I never used to do that before. I used to be the two a week girl, but by the end of the week, I'm just like, I'm healed. I'm, I'm not sore. So I'm like, you know what? Let's, uh, let's, let's hit another leg day, you know? So I do this little superset. So I use the, um, heaviest dumbbell we have, which is a 75 pound girl. Look at that cake. I was watching this clip and I was like, God damn, is that all me? Is that all me? Like, whoa, I know you see that. I left this in purposely because you got to see that. Okay, anyways, so <laughs> I'm doing some uh, sumo squats here. One of my favorite exercises because literally if you do these slow and controlled, it's it mimics like a deadlift type motion. So if you don't like deadlifts, you could try this. Um, but pretty much I lift the weight off the ground, squeezing my glutes as I come up to the top. So it's almost like a squat type. Well, it is a squat, but like I just, it just feels so freaking good. So the heaviest dumbbell in my gym is 75. Like, what's going on with that? Fit for less. You got to up your weights, man. Like, why you only got a 75? That's it. Um, here, I'm doing some Bulgarians. Like I said, I'm going to be doing Bulgarians like three times a week now. I've started to really like this exercise. And so he got me doing kind of like a, a pyramid, I guess you could say. Um, but I'm upping my weights every single set, of course. And I think I, I actually did hit a PR. This is the first time I did a Bulgarian. I think I hit with 45s i believe you know it's 40 or 45s and i was so happy with myself like oh it was just it was feeling so good you know i've been pushing myself in the gym feeling good feeling strong look at my pump honestly my, my butt's been looking juicy okay i'm loving the progress and this is only week four that's crazy crazy how much has changed since then <laughs> so yeah if you guys are wondering daniel He's my trainer, you gotta hit him up. I'ma link the Instagram down below. But yeah, that was the week of workout. And I am doing multiple versions of these on my channel. I'm recording all my weeks. I post my workouts, what I eat, etc. There you go, I'm doing my glute burnout, which is the glute focus back extensions, one of my favorites. So here I'm starting off with the plate, just warming up, doing body weight. Ooh, that rhymed. <laughs> Maybe I got a career in rapping. <laughs> if, if this YouTube thing doesn't work out, I guess. Um, <laughs> Anyways, so I'm, I'm doing the plate. I like the plate, but you know, your girl had to go up and wait. So I started using the dumbbells. The dumbbells is a bit tricky to roll it up and hold it. It is a little difficult, but you know, we got it. And like I told you, I've been using the preloaded barbells. So I don't know, it, whatever you guys like to do, try it out. My gym does not have kettlebells with the little handle. So I wish, I wish we did, but we do not that sucks okay so yeah i just want to show you what i've been doing for this entire week uh trying the new format with the voiceover let me know if you like it <laughs> and uh, yeah at the end of the week i went uh, i played pool with my friends and uh, that was just like my little rest day so yeah thanks for watching bye